Hi, let's solve one previous question of algorithm. This question was asked in GATE CH 2021 set 1 question number 36. Let G equals to B E be an undirected, unweighted connected graph. The diameter of G is defined as D I A M G max of U V belongs to V. The length of the shortest path between U and V. Let M be the adjacency matrix of G. Define graph G2 on the same set of vertices with adjacency matrix N, where N i j equals to 1. If M i j greater than 0 or P i j greater than 0, where P equals to M square, otherwise 0. Which one of the following statement is true? And four options are given. For solving this question, first we will take an example, a undirected, no direction, unweighted, no weight and connected graph. Let A, B, C are three vertices and there are two edge A to B and B to C. There are no direction and no weight. Now we will find the adjacency matrix. So in adjacency matrix in A row A to B will be 1 as the ridge is then B to A will be 1, B to C will be 1 then in C row, C to B will be 1. Next we will find M square. For M square, we need to multiply M with M. So this is our M that will multiply with M. First row with first column, it will be 1. Then first row with second column, 0 multiplication 1, it will be 0. 1 multiplication 0, it will be 0. 0 multiplication 1, it will be 0. So it will be 0. Then first row, third column, it will be 1. 0 multiplication 0 plus 1 multiplication 1 plus 0 multiplication 0. Due to this, we will get 1. Next second row, first column, it is 0. Second row, second column, it will be 2. 1 multiplication 1 plus 0 multiplication 0 plus 1 multiplication 1. 1 plus 1 it will be 2. Next second row third column it will be 0. Next third row first column 1. Third row second column 0. Third row third column it will be 1. So m square will be 1 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 1. This is also p as p equals to m square. Now we found m square next we will find n i j so we will create another matrix n from m and m square this will be our matrix n if m i j greater than 0 or p i j greater than 0 then it will be 1 so in first row here this p value is greater than 0 here this m value is greater than 0 here p value is greater than 0 so first row all are 1 Next in second row, due to this 1, it's 1. Then due to this 2, this 2 is greater than 0. That's why it is 1. Then due to this 1, it's 1. Next in third row, due to this m square to 1, it will be 1. Then due to this m, the middle one is 1. So all are 1 means it's a complete graph. Now if we we'll create the graph from it, so there will be edge from every vertex to every vertex even there will be self loop means there is a edge from A to A, B to B and C to C. You can mark this diagonal R1. So this is our graph G and this is our G2. G2 we constructed from matrix N. Next we will find the diameter. Diameter of G will be distance from A to B is 1 distance from b to c is 1 distance from a to c is 2 a to b one edge b to c another edge now from these three maximum is 2 so diameter of g will be 2 next diameter of g 2 distance from a to b is 1 a to c is 1 b to c is 1 so all are 1 from that maximum is 1 now we got both diameter. Let's check all option. Option A, diameter of G2 less than equals to diameter of G divided 2. 
diameter of G2 is 1, diameter of G is 2, 2 divided 2, it will be 1. So, 1 equals to 1, that's why it's true. Next option B, diameter of G divided 2, diameter of G is 2, 2 divided 2, less than diameter of G2, diameter of G2 is 1, less than diameter of G, it's 2. So, 1 less than 1 less than 2. This is true, but this first part 1 is not less than 1. So, due to this, option B is false. Next option C, diameter of G2 equals to diameter of G. Obviously, they are not same. So, that's why it's false. Next option D, diameter of G. Diameter of G is 2. Diameter of G2 is 1. And 2 multiplication diameter of G. So, 2 multiplication diameter of G is 2. It's 4. It's 2 less than 1 less than equals to 4. 2 is not less than 1. 1 is less than equals to 4. So, due to this part, it's false. So, we found only option A is correct while option B, C and D are false. Answer will be option A. So, you can easily solve this question by just taking one example. I took a smallest example having three vertices, two edges. You can take different example. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.